Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel! For today's video, I'll show you how I made this mirror bag charm using polyester yarn. So it's different from the last video which I used milk cotton yarn. So let's go ahead and start! Hi guys, so we'll be making a mirror bag charm. I already made a video using milk cotton yarn, but for this video, we're using polyester yarn. So I'm using this 8-ply uh, polyester yarn in Barbie pink. It's so pink, it's so nice. And a 2.5 um, millimeter hook size. We also have, um, of course, the mirror. So this is the mirror that I use for your pair of scissors and your needle so if you have your materials we can go ahead and start so grab your yarn and your hook to start we're making a magic ring so there you go i have my magic ring and chain two so chain two doesn't count as a stitch and make 12 double crochet inside the magic ring so yarn over insert your hook in the magic ring yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so that's your first double crochet this chain two doesn't count as a stitch okay, that's one let's make another 11 so Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, and then pull through two. So just continue making double crochet inside your magic ring until you have 12 double crochet and I meet, I meet you at the end. Okay guys, so I have my 12 double crochet. Now you want to pull the tail of the magic ring to close the ring like that, like so. And after that, you just make a slip stitch to finish this row, slip, slip stitch on top of the first double crochet. So, it's getting blurry. Um, there. Here is the top of the first double crochet. Insert your hook, pull through the loops. Okay. Now you're finished with your first row. So second row will just make two double crochets in each stitch. So we're increasing each stitch. So chain two. Again, this doesn't count as a stitch. Make two double crochet in the first stitch. So insert your hook and make double crochet. Another one in the same stitch, double crochet. There you go. So continue doing that again. I'll show you. The next stitch, make two double crochets. This is one and two. So just continue making two double crochets in each stitch, and you'll end with 24 stitches in the second row. And I'll meet you right there. All right, so I'm done with 24 double crochets, and it should look like this. Now you can end or finish your row by making slip stitch on top of the first double crochet. So let's do that. Insert your hook and slip stitch. There you go. Now to continue row 3, we'll also increase. Chain 2 doesn't count as a stitch. Let me show you so in the first stitch make one double crochet so this is one double crochet and in the next stitch make two 
double crochet so increase in the next stitch that's one and two there we go and on the next stitch we'll we'll make one double crochet just one and in the next we'll make two double crochets So you see, just continue doing that again in the next stitch, one double crochet, in the next two double crochets. So one, two, one, two, or no increase and then increase, no increase and then increase. Continue doing that until you reach the end of the row and I'll meet you right there. Okay guys, so I'm done with the third row, so here's how it looks like and just the same to finish your row, you need to make a slip stitch on top of the very first double crochet. And after that, we'll continue with another row of increase, so chain 2, for row 4, We'll make one double crochet in the next two stitches. So yarn over into your hook in the next stitch and make double crochet. Yarn over and one double crochet again in the next stitch. And on the third stitch, you'll make two double crochets. So that's the increase. So do that again, one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next, and two double crochet in the next stitch. Continue doing that until you finish row four. Okay, so again, one double crochet in the next two stitches and then two double crochet in the next all right guys so i'm done and i also made a slip stitch to end my row so here is our fourth row of um, increase now to continue we are just going to make one single crochet in each stitch Oh, sorry, one double crochet in each, in each stitch but back loop only. So I'll show you how to do that. So chain two, again it doesn't count as a stitch. Yarn over, then insert your hook in the very first stitch but instead of inserting um, here, you need to use back loop only. So here's my back loop. And then double crochet. So again guys, you see a V stitch like that. You insert your hook here. Back loop only. And so instead of using two loops, you only use the back loop. So just one double crochet in each stitch or back loop. Alright, so continue doing that until you reach the end of the row. Alright. Okay, so there I'm done with the uh, row 5 and just the same as the other rows we'll make slip stitch to finish the row. Now this is the sixth and final round or row. We'll make a series of decrease stitch so chain 2 
one double crochet in the very first again this doesn't count as a stitch one double crochet in the next in the first stitch and then make a decrease in the next two stitches so yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch Oops. yarn over pull through two don't finish your double crochet yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through all three loops so that's your first decrease so again one double crochet in the next stitch like so and then decrease so yarn over insert your hook in the next yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two we're not finishing our double crochet yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through all three loops continue one double crochet in the next and then decrease again so just continue doing that until you finish the row So yarn over, over crochet, and then decrease. And I'll meet you at the end of this row. Alright, so this is my last um, decrease. So since I started with no decrease in the first stitch, I should end up with a decrease. And over, pull through, and then continue. There you go. And make a slip stitch. Okay. Now you can finish this. Yarn over. Okay. Now you can cut your yarn. This is where you're going to put your mirror. So just like that, you guys. So I'm gonna take my mirror. Let's make sukat. fits perfectly so I'm just gonna leave the ends so I'll just hide the ends now by the way guys I forgot to mention earlier for the materials for this um, mirror band charm you also need a small lobster clasp I don't know if that's what you call it but you need something like this to for the uh, strap of the mirror bag charm okay so once you have this we can continue just take your yarn and the same uh, crochet hook and we're going to attach this to the finished project so here I don't um, make the strap here because if you hang it to your bag it's gonna go like this it's, it's gonna open so I attach my strap anywhere in here there. 
just attach your yarn okay now you can chain 35 with the with the same hook size and um, yarn size chain 35 or however long you want your chain or your strap to be so I have two three four five six seven, eight, now that I have 35 I'll take I'll get the uh, lobster thingy and I insert my hook in this loop and I'll continue crocheting with with it chain or just to make a slip stitch there you go and I'll make a slip stitch in every chain just like so I'll just make a slip stitch Just continue doing that until the end okay guys so once you uh, made one slip stitch in every chain so just make another slip stitch here to attach that end and finish off so I'm just gonna cut a long tail so I can also So it's done. I'm just gonna hide the tails. Just gonna ha hide the excess yarns. So there you go, guys. I'm done with this. So here's how you lock it. So you just insert anywhere you like. I hope you like this video. So you can add any design at the back of the uh, back charm. Like so, like this one, I added a flower. Uh, you can just simply use this. It's already cute and nice. But you can also add any design that you want. Just like this one. So yeah, I also have a tutorial of the flower. So if you want to try uh, making this, just uh, go to my channel. And if you do like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you can be notified if you have new videos thank you guys love you bye